Hey guys, my name is Bando. This is Brexit Bando. Um, someone's taken a shot, a second shot at Donald Trump. Um, the United States has authorized strikes against targets in Russia. So we're about ooh, two minutes away from World War Three. Um, so I thought it'd be a really good time to give you a, a progress update on my Raven Guard. <laughs> because, I mean, what else am I going to do? I'm not going to get drafted. I look like John Candy. I mean, I'm not going to go to war. Plus, plus, I can't really be trusted. Um, so, first up, Pro Acryl Gold. I gave this a go for painting um, the Sergeant e for the Thousand Suns missile launcher team that I just... You know, my autism's kicking off and I needed a final... I, I needed a final um, unit... It, 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 you know, guy in the unit, and uh, it's a lovely gold. Oh my god, it went over so smoothly. Um, I decided to then try doing the red um, on here. Uh, let's just see if I can get this a bit brighter for you so you can actually see. Oh, no, not that one. That'll do. Yeah, so I thought I'd do, I'd do the anger on red clear uh, by hand, so I've still got to do another coat of that. But yeah, this is really, really nice. Really nice gold. I'll probably be sticking to using this gold going forward. Um, the bad ab guy. He's based. He's ready to go. Just needs an oil wash. But yeah, Raven Guard. So I have um, the four guys... Um, I think it was this one as well. They're done. They're varnished. They are complete. Um, I actually don't think it was that guy. Oh, well, it doesn't matter. Uh, I also grabbed this guy and did this. Um... I also got uh, some some plant life from outside. Uh, it's been sat in the workshop for a while, so it's all dried out. So all I did was sprayed it with my airbrush, um, primed it black, painted it green, mixed in some brown, painted the brown, mixed in some lighter green, gave it a couple of coats of varnish, and then broke it up into smaller pieces and just stuck it to the base. And I think it looks really nice. There's a bit more sort of verticality to the models. Um, so this is the sergeant for the second tactical squad. So he's done. And I have a bunch of other guys who are also done. They just need varnishing. It's him. That's the guy from this squad. I'm 99% sure. So yeah, um... The Plasma Gun Squad is done as well. Let's grab those. Quite happy with how the bases are coming out on these guys. Um, I think they're sort of bracken or whatever it was um bit of a tree has definitely added some depth to the bases made them look a bit more interesting trying to limit the amount of red on there just to a spot color um because you know i don't want it too much so yeah <clears throat> So yeah, we've got a second tactical squad, um, and then a full eight-man plasma gun squad. I haven't gone back and added those um, brackety bits to the other bases. I have to the Contemptor, but only a small one. If you haven't seen this before, this is my Raven Guard Contemptor model. Uh, it was the last of the Rigor Mortis pattern, which is the old Betrayal at Kalth 
uh, monopose dreadnought. I hacked the legs off, rebuilt the legs. One leg comes from the uh, Blood and Skulls industry set because they have some, uh, they give you two lower legs. So I used one of those, and that's supposed to be one that's taken off a, a World Eaters one that's been, you know, the armor's been pulled off for spares. Uh, the plasma gun is actually from the Minotaur Contemptor. I can't remember his name. I use that in my Ultramarines. The missile launchers, I think, are 3D printed actually. 99% sure these ones are 3D printed, not actual Forge World ones. It's got a Mark III head. It's got a fist from a Venerable Dreadnought. The base is resin. I haven't got a Scooby-Doo where that's from. Um, I bought it at Salute about seven or eight years ago with a, a great big 54 mil dwarf that I wanted to mount to it and never did. Um, and then there's just some other bits because you used to be able to take a Quarter Dreadnought, which was a more damaged and field repaired Dreadnought that was cheaper but not quite as dangerous. Uh, I definitely think that's something they should bring back. This is one of my favourite Dreadnoughts. Um, the pose, I think, is just really imposing. Um, I love it. I love Contempt of Dreadnoughts. I really do. The only part of this I don't like is his head now. Yeah. yeah. So, um, we're going well. You know, these guys just need some more varnish. Um, these guys are done. These guys have had some gloss varnish. Gloss and matte varnish on these guys, and then they'll be done. Uh, I might just double check and make sure they're, the rims are done on the bases. And then I get to move on to... Oh, let's see. Um, probably Tactical Squad 3. I'm going to leave the missile launcher guys till the end. Um, yeah, the third Tactical Squad, which is commanded by this guy um, who has parts from the Masters of the Chapters set so yeah um, they are not as progressed as these were so it's going to be a bit slower a lot of the bases aren't done a lot of the detailing is not done uh, a lot of the metallics are missing on them none of the grenades are painted that sort of thing love this model so yeah, um, another one with his nice white space booties. So these guys are going to take a lot longer to do, unfortunately. Um, I mean, if you get out buying some more of these Space Marine Hero models, they're great. Um, they're really good ones. Incidentally, that's where the missile launcher from uh, for the Thousand Suns guy comes from. Uh, I've written up an army list for this army now. It is pretty atrocious. It's two 20-man tactical squads, an Armistos, a Centurion with Command Squad, um, three Predators with auto cannons, Heavy Support Squad with missile launchers, Castiferum Dreadnought, Contempt of Dreadnought, um, it was like nine tarantulas in there, um, I can't remember the rest of it, oh, uh, when, it, when these guys are finished, when everything's finished in this army, I will, I'll post the list up, uh, I should have some Dreadnoughts coming in next week, which I'm really looking forward to, I love me some Dreadnoughts, um, so, uh, America, please postpone World War Three until I've at least finished uh, my Dreadnoughts. Um, if you can't, I will be becoming a post-apocalyptic warlord. Um, I will be taking my German mace out and using it to cripple anyone who interrupts my painting sessions. And, uh, yeah. Well, we'll come up with a password so we can recognise each other on the... Uh, in the wasteland guys don't worry like don't shoot um i'm retarded or something like that so yeah uh things are getting wild in the next couple of days um <laughs> and it's nothing to do with the hobby um 
Unfortunately, politics spills into everything else when people start shooting at each other. <laughs> oh, wonderful. Um, if you guys want to help support the channel, you can always like, comment, subscribe for free. Hit the share button. Don't even have to share it anywhere. YouTube's stupider than I am. And if you would like to pick up some models in the UK, Element Games, using code JAM737 at checkout, will double your reward points and it will give me a little kickback too to help me buy some toys. Go on, you know you want to. I'm gonna, I'm gonna aim to see if I can buy the uh, the next Space Marine Battle Force using nothing but points. I probably won't be able to. I've got like 80 p's worth of points at the moment, but um, <laughs> I'm sure you guys can be really generous again. We've done it before. Um, there is obviously the option for super thanks. Um, you don't have to, guys. I do this for free because I enjoy it and I enjoy my community. Um, you guys are my payment enough just being here. So thanks very much for watching. If you have any questions, please don't hesitate to ask them. Um, come join our Discord. We like to share our models around. We're probably going to do another mum uh, members member member members. I'm having a drunk. Uh, another members, um, and by members I mean the Discord members. Um, like review. I'll get you guys to post up some uh, some of your models, and. Um, We'll have a look and see what uh, you know, what I think of them. You know, any tips I can give you guys. Um, yeah, and uh, I'll give you a little uh, sneak peek at something else I'm working on. This was down the back of a desk and was missing a leg, which is still loose. Uh, one of the spines on the back, the weapons, the head, which I have located, is there. Uh, and I'm still missing one weapon, so I need to find one more weapon. And then I'll get back to painting this at some point. So, yeah. Alright, guys. Thanks for watching. Have a great day. I'm sorry that it's Monday again. Alright, bye-bye.